बीएड सेकंड सेम कोर्स सेवेन ए पेडागोगी ऑफ साइंस टीचिंग फ्रॉम यूनिट फोर टुडे आई डिस्कस अबाउट टीचिंग एड्स इन साइंस टीचिंग एड्स फॉर साइंस अलाउ बेटर रिटेंशन ऑफ साइंटिफिक कॉन्सेप्ट इन लॉन्ग टर्म एमंग द स्टूडेंट्स सो वेन द टीचर वॉन्ट टू टीच समथिंग हियर शी नीड अ टीचिंग एड्स देर आर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ टीचिंग एड्स सो फर्स्ट आई डिस्कस अबाउट द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ टीचिंग एड्स Teaching aids may be classified as audio aids, visual aids, audio visual aids, and activity aids. So, first one is audio aids. Audio aids like radio, tape recorder, etc., represent that aid material which helps the learner to acquire the knowledge through his auditory senses. then visual aids visual aids like charts pictures models micro projector film strip etc represents that aid material which helps the learner in acquiring the learning experiences through his visual sense <laughs> next audio visual aids like television motion pictures video films living objects etc represent all those equipments and aid material in which the learner gets opportunity to utilize both his auditory and visual sense for gaining the desired learning experience next activity aids activity aids means the science excursion and visits science exhibition and fairs science museum natural study botanical garden or visit zoological place or making or see aquarium all these are activity aids so all these are the different types of teaching aids now there is another way of classifying the teaching aids and equipments which is quite technical and technological according to this approach this can be classified as hardware and software the equipments and machines like different types of projectors uh, radio television tape recorder video teaching machines and computers etc are named as hardwares so what is software on the other hand in the category software we include the aid material like picture and other printed material graphics like charts maps diagrams or three dimensional objects like models specimen and actual objects and other specially prepared materials like slide film strip uh, visual taps all these are under the software so these are the different types of teaching aids now what are the importance of teaching aids we all know that a teacher need teaching aids for their teaching so what are the importance number 1 teaching aids is a effective motivating agent teaching aids have a great power and appeal for seeking effective motivation of the students by making them interested 
and capturing their attention towards the study of the subject now second one helpful in maintaining interest and attention we all know that teaching aids helps a teacher to make attention and to make a interest among the students in a classroom situation now third point for importance of teaching aids that is clarity of the subject matter these aids illustrate explain differentiate and discriminate among various things and phenomena which can be easily understood by the students next point save the time and energy of the students and teachers next the teaching is is helpful in the realization of the objectives of science next it provides permanent and effective learning next point it provide solutions to a number of educational and administrative problems so all these are the importance of teaching aids now i discuss about the principles for the selection of teaching aids when a teacher use a teaching aids for the teaching then he or she should follow some principles to choose the teaching aids so what are these principles number 1 relevancy number 2 suitability number 3 educative number 4 best substitute for the first hand experience number 5 learner centered 6 simplicity 7 environmental centered and 8 practicability so all these are the principles of teaching aids now i want to discuss about the different types of teaching aid material what are the different types of teaching aid materials suppose real objects and real situation real objects and real situation provide best means for the acquisition of didactic experiences here the children get full opportunity at their own to see explore and manipulate the things and thus gain quite stimulating and meaningful experiences next type of material is specimen science teacher can use different types of specimen in during their teaching next aid teaching aid material is model next pictures and charts sometimes blackboard is also used as a teaching material next microscope and telescope next point epidioscope next film strip projector the teacher science teacher can use film strip projector as a teaching material next radio next cinema and the teacher can also use television as a teaching material sometimes the science teacher can visit some place and make some excursions so all these are teaching materials sometimes we can arrange a science fair and exhibitions by arranging this science fair and exhibition we can also use this as a teaching material science museum is also under teaching material so all these are different types of science teaching aid materials 
ओके थैंक यू